All right, guys, and welcome back to a quick five-minute Wednesday here at AIMCAD. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get right to it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be going over in, in what we're going to use in as example our tree points. So tree points are something along the lines that we want to end up looking like this right here, meaning we have the tree symbol along with the inches symbol right next to it. Now, I'm not looking at proportions here. I know it looks a little out of proportion. The tree should be a little bit bigger, but again, just ignoring that. What we're going to do is show you how to get to here. So first things first, let's put a point in. And I'm going to purposely make some mistakes here, and uh, I'll show you how to fix them. So uh, first things first, let's put a point in. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to call it TRD in lowercase letters right now. TRD12, just to be different than the top one. Perfect. What an elevation. Sure, 700. So it's going to put a point in here. Now, I don't want any more points, so I'm just going to hit Enter. I'm going to click on the point I just put in. I'm going to go right click on it. I'm going to go to apply description keys. Now you're going to notice something's not happening. It's not working out. So here's the order in which you should check things and you can go in any order you really want, but this is the order I check things in. First things first, I'm going to come over to prospector. I'm going to go to all points and I'm going to go to edit, not edit. Sorry. I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to go to overrides and make sure these bottom two, in fact, none of them are checked. So no overrides are on, perfect. Then I'm gonna come over here to the settings tab, go to aim, and then I'm gonna to go to edit keys. And then I'm gonna come over here and say, okay, well, TRD, yeah, 16, that star basically is the wild card. So anything at TRD blank will come up with this here. So it looks all good. Um, but one thing you need to realize is sometimes AutoCAD is caps lock sensitive. So remember, I put that in lowercase, and what do I have here? Uppercase letters. So let's go here real quick. Let's go to edit point. So I'm gonna click on the point, right click and go to edit. And uh, I'm gonna put it in caps uh, lock here and go TRD 12, just like that. Close out, again, when I close, don't close using this. Make sure you close out using the green check. There we go. So now I'm gonna do a regen. Then I'm going to click on the point and go to apply description keys and voila, it changes. Now, we still have one more problem here. I still have an inches symbol here. Now, it should look like this up here. And if we click on both points, you'll see why it doesn't work. So to get the inches symbol to appear with the number, first of all, you have to have your format set up to do cash sign one and then the inches symbol. Now, I don't use the inches symbol. I usually do two feet mark right next together. And this way, it kind of looks a little bit nicer. They're not very narrow. So I'll do one of one of each and you guys can be the judge of which one you want to use. So here's the inches symbol. This one has the two feet markers. Now for this to work, the one signifies it's going to use the numbers or the letters after the first space. So if I put a space in here like that, if you notice it instantly changed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of here using the green checkbox and you'll notice. And if I hit regen, Here's the one with the inches symbol. Here's the one with the two feet symbols. So again, this is just a really quick video on how to manage your description keys and really what is description key format? Because if you go into edit keys here, a lot of this stuff sometimes is set up for you already, or you maybe you're just setting it up for the first time. So description key format. So if I put a two in here and hit enter, closed out, and then I went into here and hit apply description keys. If you notice, it's going to disappear because now it's looking for the second space. So again, just kind of pay attention to that. Um, again, one is where it's going to be at here. Um, but just note, there's a few different tricks and different things in there. So again, aim, edit keys, make sure you set it back to one. And the cool thing is too, is you don't have to select them. You can go right into prospect your all points right click on it and go to apply description keys and it'll fix itself. So again, this is just a really quick tutorial on how to get your tree symbols to show up correctly if this is the way you do it. Um, and you know what, you can use this for other things too, why not? So again, this is AIMCAD, make sure you like and subscribe below and I'll see you guys in the next video and we're gonna try to do one of these five minute videos every Wednesday for both Civil 3D and AutoCAD. So this is obviously the Civil 3D one and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.